In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to using AnyDesk. Now, AnyDesk is a remote access software and is very, very useful. I'm going to explain it all today. So, first of all, to go ahead and actually start using AnyDesk, you want to go to AnyDesk.com. And we can go ahead and once we're on the website, we want to go ahead and press on this button that says download now. And that's going to ha that's how we're going to get the app, basically. Now, once you download it, it's going to download to your computer based upon the version of computer you've got. But if it downloads the wrong version, you can select the correct version here, um, as well as like Chrome OS versions, uh, all of that kind of stuff. Now, they also do have on their website a get started guide, which you can go ahead and use. So if you put your email in here, say I'm not a robot, press get the guide. You can go ahead and use their guide there, which is um, going to tell you about how to use it some of the features that uh, I might not mention. Now you're going to see out here they have this section up here called My AnyDesk and it says we are currently rolling out My AnyDesk Access. Essentially this is going to be an online version of AnyDesk and you can have um, this one here or you can have this one here. So they've got version 1, version 2 uh, as you can see they're rolling out version 2 right now but you basically log in here with it and that's another way you can go ahead and use it. So just before we get into the actual features of AnyDesk, I thought I would just quickly talk about um, some of the sort of other things about it. So, for example, the pricing. So, first of all, if we talk about the actual pricing for it, it is free by default, as in you're going to get a free trial of it. But if you want to go ahead and get some of the more advanced features, you will have to pay for it. So, I'm going to show you here, you've got these different plans here. You've got Solo. This is £12.90 per month, and this is billed annually. And for this, you're going to be able to uh, log in with three devices. You have one outgoing connection at a time, up to 100 managed devices, which is very good. Unlimited devices to connect to, uh, and that's that. Now, these different plans here, standard and advanced, they're similar to this. You've got more people that can run this, basically. More devices, um, that kind of thing. And then when you go to the advanced one, you've got like custom client generator. You have better support, uh, all that kind of stuff. So. By default, you'll probably use this solo one, but it really depends on your needs. If you want to go ahead and check out all of the different pricing plans and all the details, it lays them out in detail here. Uh, basically, everything that you go ahead and get. So go ahead. That's on anydesk.com, and that's the pricing section here. You can go ahead and see the pricing here. So now that I've gone ahead and gone through the pricing, uh, it's downloaded on my computer. So I'm just going to show you a bit about how it works. So here I am, I've opened up the AnyDesk uh, window and this is going to be the sort of trial version here. So what you're going to see at the top is, first of all, you have something called your address. Now your address is a way that people can connect to your computer uh, on their AnyDesk. At the top, you have a section here that says enter remote address. This is what you need to go ahead and click on if you want to access a remote session. And for that, you'd have to get the client or the user to go ahead and give you their address. And it should be here. And you'd want to paste that in here. And once you go ahead and do that, you can go ahead, press on this button, connect. And that's going to allow you to go ahead and connect to their session. Now, with your address here, there are a few different settings you can do. If we press on this lock icon, we can actually go ahead and set a password. So this will mean that people will not be able to take control of our computer unless they have a specific password. Uh, this is very, very useful. Um, and then you can also set, set permission profile. So default screen sharing. So screen sharing means they can see your screen. They can't access it. Full access means that they can access it, but only when you're there. And unattended access means they can access anything on your computer, even when you're not there. So you've got to be careful with these settings. Now, you're going to have a ton of settings in here, and I think I'll start with general. We have things like the language, auto select. We have the theme, so this is light dark mode. We have some miscellaneous options here uh, that you can go and look through. And then we have the screenshot path. So we've got default and custom. Basically, if you take a screenshot, there's going to it's going to save it somewhere. Um, this is the address here that you're just going to save to. And you can go ahead and change that for your device. You've also got chat logs, so if you want to go ahead and log the chats, or you want to save them, you can also go ahead and set a location to save to in case you need to get them at other times. And then you've also got their online status, so you can see if they're online or not. Next up, we have our um, connection details here. So we've got allow direct connections. 
and you can also use a proxy so you may want to use a proxy for some reason um, and you can do this you can do detect proxy uh, or you can do a manual proxy setup depending on what you've got for, what you've got so you might have HTTPS you might have SOX 5 it, it depends what kind of proxy you have you can put the address and port in there and you can essentially only allow connections through, through this proxy so this is just a useful way of um, keeping secure as well uh, so you'll both have to be connected to the same proxy for that to work and you can select the uh, authentication type so have you got IP authentication or have you got username and password authentication which you can go ahead and apply there and uh, you can click apply and that will require the proxy to connect basically inside security we have all of our access stuff so um, show incoming requests uh, set password clear tokens the people who can control it so this is a restricted control list of addresses so if you've got a trusted address you can put it in there that will be able to control it um, whereas others won't so that's one you can look at you can also search for local networks for other AnyDesk clients. This is good if you're working in an um, office setting and you need to help. Maybe you're like a, you work with some kind of tech for the office. This is very useful. Then we have our permissions here. So you can really chain into the permissions here. Um, so you can hear sound. Um, you can select if they can control your device. Um, there's a lot of different settings here. You need to be careful of these because if you give them access to certain things, they can basically access everything on your profile so be careful uh, but if you go through the different permissions here click on them it's going to show you what permissions they have so screen sharing is only going to allow you to screen share they won't be able to access any files or anything like that you can also have some different backgrounds and stuff shown uh, during incoming sessions just so that you can hide stuff in terms of display this is just like quality settings so you've got your quality so um, that's to do with do you want good fps do you want good um quality in terms of picture quality you've got visual helpers so um, when you click or when you move it's going to show them this is going to be useful follow cursor uh, follow window focus all of these are basically viewing settings it just make it easier to see what you're actually doing on the app audio settings this is your input and output very simple you've got your recording settings here which are also very simple this is where the recordings go to printer and then you have your account so this will be the details that you sign up with and if you activate a license key they're going to be available here and then lastly we have our identity so our uh, account name our profile and our desktop preview but those are essentially all of the different features for any desk if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe comment down below that helped you out and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make on every, any other topics so maybe any desk or maybe something like team viewer uh, you know another remote control sort of system uh, or anything business related i'll be able to make a video one just to help guide you through it but thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one